Okay, so water inside the cat inside the, the RV, right? I want to have water. <clears throat> I have my water tank filled down below, and now I want the water to come out of here. And right now it, it comes out. And um, sometimes, I mean, right now it's coming out because there was pressure in the lines, but eventually this water pressure will stop being there just really quickly. So it stops flowing and eventually this flow will get slower and slower and then uh, eventually stop, all right? But, and there is a water pump that will pump the water into the lines um, and that water pump, if you have no pressure. If you're plugged into a uh, full hookup site or a site that has water, right? Then you just put the hose in and that's the water pressure that will allow this to have more pressure. This, the shower, the bathroom, and the toilet. Okay, and that's plenty of pressure from the side. You don't need to have the water pump on if you have that on. But if you're just driving and you don't have, you're not plugged into anything, then you need to have pressure. And to get that pressure, you need to make sure the water pump is on. Here's the water pump right here. Again, before anything up here, any power is going to work anywhere. You need to make sure you have your main power on. That's on. It's red right there. So I have water pump and I can turn the water pump on. Okay, now when I try to turn, turn this on, um, it'll still take a little bit of time, but I can hear in back underneath the mattress a little bit of a do -do 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 -do, which is the water pump pumping away and that should be able to give me enough pressure so that you know intermittent use um, is, is available to everywhere okay um, one thing that the water pump is less effective at is the shower all right so if you're using the water pump on the shower um, it's not as strong a shower as if you were plugged into the um, the water pressure at the uh, side of the, uh, of the campsite or something like that. But it's still doable. You can still take a great shower and it can be nice and warm for you. So, Okay, that's the water. And uh, with the water pump, you're not using it. You can turn it off. But the only reason you turn it off really is if you're plugged in to water on the outside of city fixtures. If you're plugged into city fixtures, then you can turn it off. Otherwise, you can just leave it on the whole time. So that nobody has to worry about, uh, is the water working? If the water doesn't work, you can just make sure that the, I mean, the flow doesn't work, you make sure the water pump is, is okay, okay? Um, yeah, there's one other thing that I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you about a little bit. Um, I don't expect anybody to have to do this, but if, you, if, if there becomes an issue of some sort and you're not getting any water, um, then what you can do is check the filter in the back on the water pump, the filter in the back on the water pump. And I'll give you uh, directions to do that. If that becomes an issue with you, you can let me know and call me or whatever, and I'll show you how to do that. But uh, we're not going to give you that much information on this uh, video here. Okay, good.